Welcome to the Top 5. This is a podcast where a group of friends discuss our top 5 favorites and different topics, including movies, television, video games, and comic books. Hope you enjoy the show. Alright, welcome to the Top 5. Uh, today's topic is going to be uh, Stanley cameos. But before we get started, guys, I wanted to mention Diana from Galt. Uh, she's a fan of the show. She's probably going to be guest starring here pretty soon, maybe in a month or so. Um, she wanted to bring up during the Women Role Models episode that she thought we forgot Elle Woods from Legally Blonde. Mm-hmm. Just fair. Uh, I know she's she's she, yeah. So I think she's a she's a good role model. Um, Solid movies, not yeah. my favorites. When I think back to the movie, yeah, all I can remember is how she looked and 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 you know how. That's not great on acting. our part. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's kind of a chick flick. I didn't pay that much attention, but <laughs> except she wore like this on this scene. She just seemed kind of ditzy. But in the end, it, it the story was kind of reflecting that you can be or you can like act like that. Act you can be who you want to be and still be successful. Yeah, or whatever. She, exactly. You don't have to be. Labeled by your appearance. Or yeah. Whatever. So it's considered a classic, throw, right? What's that? It's considered a classic, pretty much. Like everybody knows it, that movie. Yeah, I just, I, you know, and it's. Think about it. I like when the so if you guys ever if Twitter especially if you guys if you have any uh, disagreements with our top five or you think that um, you have another good option or something like that, just shoot us out a tweet and we'll try to mention a few of them on the following episode or whatever we can. And so we really appreciate that. So thank you, Diana, for that. Um, and we'll see you soon. Um, for this episode, uh, we're going to do a little bit of a different format, and uh, what we'll do is we're going to shout off our top fives personally, each real fast, and then we're going to sit there and debate uh, the top five of all our top fives, and so hopefully I'm, I'm 100% on mine, I think I will be. Um, I'm going to be your moderator, Frank. Uh, Squeaks here as well. Uh, Joe. <laughs> snarf, snarf. Yeah, this is John. All right, and uh, anything else you guys want to bring up before we... Boy, trailers have been dropping like crazy. You've been watching all these trailers? Uh, which which ones are we talking? We got a wreck of Ralph. Oh, I did see that. Did you see the new Lego Two? I did. Oh, I did. I, I did. Yeah. Where is, is, that's a new character, the one in the helmet, or yeah. are they trying to reference? Some? No, it's a, new okay, character. it's a new character. And she brings her to the Sistar Galaxy, whatever. It's gonna be like women empowerment. I love how she's like. I love how I, I don't know. I love how Chris Pratt has done nothing and <laughs> they just yeah, reference that. Yeah. And then I love when the the robots like following him. They're like, it's like he knows all their moves or whatever. And like Chris Pratt, yeah, he's a like, his blinker's <laughs> turning red. Yeah. <laughs> and then, so it's a lot of trailers right now. I'm trying to throw them all up on Twitter. So if you guys want to catch up the trailers, uh, follow us on Twitter, and I'll be posting them as fast as I can find them. The new Bumblebee. It's kind of I saw that too. Not bad. I don't know. I felt like it was kind of yeah. Uh, Transformer. Transformer. Oh, they are going with. Like, I thought they were canceled. I thought they canceled. Uh, they did like pull something out. Transformers and WB. Hopefully everything uh, except for because this looks like it. It looks like they're bringing back that human robot relationship stuff and yeah. not just like CGI fights. You know, not, so. fucking. We better not. Sorry, we better not get a Bumblebee that. We need one that actually speaks. I'm tired of this radio oh, station stuff. That's a huge part of the trailer is he don't talk at all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She gives oh him like a tape. God. It's She's before like, it's use... before she meets Doesn't she doesn't he Rick Roll? Shia LaBeouf. Doesn't he does he Rick Roll, yeah. actually. At the end. Um, it's before Shia LaBeouf, so he doesn't even have that part down in the beginning. Like he doesn't even have like, like radio figured out. He's like a kid. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. god. They probably <laughs> saw that they're trying to get back to where they were with Shia LaBeouf. Everybody liked those movies and they kinda of lost their focus or whatever, so maybe they're trying to Reset and go back to that kind of vibe. Something I don't know. It's uh, so we'll we'll be posting them all, and I think this this Michael episode Bay's will post on Monday. So those trailers are probably older news, but I'll be posting trailers the whole time. Mm-hmm. And then we got E three coming up, and we'll be posting a couple more E three episodes this week that you're listening to this. All right, so let's get to our top five. Uh, I'm gonna go off of them real quick, like I said earlier, and then we'll we'll debate our actual top five. So my number five is Spider Man two. Uh, with his Stanley cameos, this is one where Stanley saves a woman from the falling rubble. Thought it was really good. Uh, the same thing happens in in the first uh, first Spider Man as well. Uh, my number four is Captain America: The Winter Soldier. He's the security guard. Yeah, that's a good. One. Uh, he's a security guard in that museum when Cap needs to steal yeah. his uniform back to be more like what Bucky's familiar with. Uh, number three, the Thor one where he's trying to pull the hammer with the truck and the bed falls off the truck. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. Uh, number two, Avengers: Age of Ultron. It's where they're uh, they're all partying. They're like World War II vets are partying with the Avengers, and Thor's got like this Asgard boot. Oh, uh, the drink, the drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then Stanley's like, "Oh, stop yeah, trying yeah. to scare us! I'm gonna drink this." And then yeah. he, they have to like escort him out. My favorite part is that he he's like drunkenly saying S, um, "Excelsior" on the way yeah, out, yeah, 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 which is his motto from back when he used to make us call him. 
And then my number one is Guardians of the Galaxy 2. It's where he's with the Watchers. The reason that was my number one is it is like game changer for the Marvel Universe and actually is pretty huge. So oh, it I will be with it, huh? feverishly pushing that one. What's that? Something They haven't done anything with that yet though, right? Those, no, uh, but it was directly meant to unite all Marvel movies, including the yeah. multiple... And it actually introduces the fact the multi-universe is possible because he's in every one of the Spider-Mans, even the... like. Gone Spider Man's. Because he says that he make, makes a reference to like Civil War, right? He makes re- yeah. There's a like, problem with the timeline, but it is a reference to Civil yeah. War, and it was put in by the directors. Kevin Yapai he even agreed with this. It was put in purposely to show that they're all combined, that he's always been a Watcher, so that's or part of the Watchers or whatever. Um, he's not actually um, uh, what's his name Uatu, Uatu, I think it is, uh, which is Earth's personal Watcher. They're not they're saying he's not him, but he like works with the Watchers to give him stories. But anyways, that's my top five. Squeaks, let's hear your top five. All right, so my top five, I got number five as Guardians of the, Guardians of the Galaxy 1. Uh, Raccoon, uh, Rocket Raccoon was looking for people. Yeah, it's he funny line. Him, but I like the I like the comments he makes. Yeah. About him being, what, some, said something on the lines of an old guy. Yeah, for like, like, yeah, 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 go yeah, find yeah. your wife or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, number four, I have Iron Man uh, from 2008. The original Iron Man. Yeah, yeah. That's but a huge he was walking yeah, yeah, yeah. after, yeah. walking by and saw. That was pretty cool. He's like, good to see you, Hef. And it's like, with those two, <laughs> Stanley's always with some females, it seems like, on most of these ones. And I think at his age, it's because they need to help hold him up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's uh, another one. One of the Spider-Mans, I think he's kind of like being carried or something like that. No, it's not uh, a Spider-Man. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll, I'll think of it. It's on. It's actually it's on Agent of Shield. No. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, from uh, number three, I have Hulk from 2003 with the uh, um, I don't know that actor's name, but Purple Pants Hulk before uh, Edward Norton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not that one. No. The one uh, but I do have that up there is because it's a really oh, you're Hulk's... talking about Hulk. Okay. Yeah, I thought yeah. you were talking about the cameo. Itself. No, it's an honorable the cameo. Yeah, yeah, that's the why. Cameo I, that's why I like security it. Security guard. Because yeah, yeah. Right it's Stan Lee and uh, Luther. How do you say his last name? Igno? Lou Frigno. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Walking out at the same time, talking to each other. I thought it was pretty cool. He's like, we got a beef up security around here. It's like Lou Frigno's in this shirt is barely fitting. Like, I agree with you. Uh, number two, I actually have Big Hero Six. Mm. That, that, that was I, I just like the dad, how, though. Yeah, the dad. Uh, after the credits, he pops up uh, and talks about his superhero whatever past for a little bit with his son. That's his son, right? I believe. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then um, I just like seeing Stanley as a animated character in that. He's in the original Spider-Man cartoon yeah. as well. Yeah, cartoon, yeah. 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 I just kind of like the whole uh, 3D animation, computer animation, so that kind of neat. Uh, number one, I have Spider-Man. I think it's the original one, 2007. If I'm right, I, feel, uh, no. I just put the years. I know the exact. Uh, yeah. One, two, three. Yeah. But uh, I have that as number one because he says something to Peter Parker, and uh, it's kind of like a real life, real life ordeal. Mm-hmm. And uh, he says, uh, "You know, I guess one person can make a difference." So I thought that was pretty. Oh, that's why he's my number one. Yeah. That's Spider Man. Three, I think, Is because because yeah. Peter Parker stops to read the banner. Yeah, yeah. reading yeah. like a, something on, on like a outside of a yeah. building or whatever. Yeah, it's like moving. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's my number one. Good choice. This is you. <clears throat> number <All> right, five, <laughs> Captain America: Civil War. Okay. Uh, just because, uh, what's Cheadle's name? Character's name? Um, in Captain America: Civil War. Oh, uh, shoot, that's War Machine, no? Yes. Okay. I think so. And, um, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Stanley comes in and he's like, uh, Are you Tony Stank? Yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he's like, like, oh. yeah, he's Tony Stank. Yeah. Yeah. That made me yeah, laugh. Yeah, that made me laugh. Yeah. Um, then uh, Thor, of course, when he's trying to take out the hammer. It made me laugh. You know, he's like, Did I get it? Yeah. So that makes, makes me laugh because, you know, I know you could, you could take it out, Squeaks. Take You're strong enough to take out the hammer. Oh, of course. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, then uh, the, the Hulk from 2003. Uh, because. I thought it was kind of cool. It was a good one. And it surprised me when I was doing my research. I was like, yeah, damn, I don't even remember it. But man, what a good one. Yeah, that one made me laugh. Uh, And then uh, the Iron Man. uh, (laughs) When he calls him half. Yeah. Yeah. He's got like, like you said, he's got like, what, like three, four girls with him? Yeah. That was pretty funny. And that robe. Yeah. And then uh, number one, I had to go with uh, Big Hero 6. Because you know Disney. Man, okay. I didn't, I, enough said. Not even in my honorable mentions. It is a good one. Not even in my honorable mentions, though. That's a good one, though. All right, John, let's get your five in. All right, my number five was in uh, Daredevil. Uh, he was a pedestrian walking mm. in the paper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. young uh, Matt Murdock stops him with his cane from walking yeah. in traffic. So that was pretty good. Should have let him walk in traffic. Uh, <laughs> we would have missed out on so much. No, it's time yeah. to end it. Uh, number four was Captain America Winter Soldier when he was a security guard. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Captain America stole the uniform. He's like, oh, crap, I'm going to be in trouble or whatever. 
Pastor oh, he's like, yeah, I'm going to get fired or something. Um, yeah. He's like, I'm oh, so yeah, getting I'm get, fired for yeah, this. That's what it was, yeah. Uh, my number three is, oh, yeah, you guys all mentioned it, Iron Man, uh, the original one where he was Hugh Hefner. Mm-hmm. That's funny. I remember. I, I don't remember seeing him cameo before that, too, so I, I remember that. That was the first one I think I really noticed and thought, oh, this yeah. could be a part of this universe. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so but funny. I, think, like, I know I've seen him in the Spider-Man ones, the old Spider-Man ones, because the one where he saves... But it was like, you could tell with Iron Man, they were like, because I remember when Iron Man first came out, they were like, they're going to make an Avengers 2 at some point. Yeah. So you're like, oh man, he's going to be in all these probably. Yeah. So Maybe yeah. that's when we realize it's kind of like an Easter egg thing. It's exactly. something you're going to put in him more often. Yeah. Uh, let's see, my number two was Thor. I love that, where he's uh, trying to pull out the yeah. hammer with the truck. Yeah. Uh, you see, you just see the truck going and rips the bed off and everything, and then yeah. you see him pop his head out the window and laughing like, you oh, did, did it I work? get it? Mm-hmm. I didn't it was, get it. Yeah. It was just funny. Uh, and then number one, I don't think anybody, nobody else mentioned it, but because uh, I didn't really care for the movie itself, but the Amazing Spider-Man, uh, he was the librarian that was in the library. Yeah, yeah. The headphones headphones on. On. that is a good one. As much as I don't like that movie, yeah. And there's this big battle going on behind him. He's almost yeah. getting hit. He almost gets hit. Like he like that. grabs it. Yeah, grabs it's just, it. that's pretty well done. He's oblivious when all the stuff's going on mm-hmm. around. Yeah. So. I wonder what he's listening to. That one made me chuckle. I don't know. Probably well, awesome he's, mix. No, it can't be. Oh, God, that'd be so great. It? But he's doing like hand motions like he's a composer, so it must be classical. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Unless he's really into like some. World of Warcraft soundtrack. Well, he doesn't no, know how to do sterilics. Didn't they play the music? It is a classical song, I think. Maybe they, oh, you know what? Actually, yeah, I think they is. do probably because play the sound. whole scene is quiet and it's just him listening to the song. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right. Another, so, so a couple of honor mentions I want to throw in real quick. Deadpool 2 trailer. Um, he's in that and he's also in the Deadpool movie, but not, I, I wouldn't say official Deadpool 2. Um, and then Amazing Spider-Man Two, he co- he's sitting there in the bleachers when Peter Parker swings in for his graduation, mm-hmm. and he's mm-hmm. like, he's all excited, like I know that guy. Yeah, yeah I think yeah, I know yeah. that guy. Which the the relationship between Stan Lee and Spider-Man is very very close, so yeah. it's kind of cool. And and then I really like the the old Spider-Man cartoon from I think ninety six. Yeah, yeah. He's, so there's a whole on. episode. Yeah, there's a whole episode of the two together. So that's pretty cool. How about uh, Stan Lee uh, Yonets? I have no clue what that is. <laughs> what is Honorable mention? No holes. Anyone? <laughs> I got you. Oh, I get it now. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Okay, so let's edit that out. <laughs> Where's my cut point? 11 minutes in. Good. No, I'm just kidding. Um, all right, guys. So here we go. Our official top five. Put in the ringer there. Okay. Um, you guys are all wrong. None of you guys mentioned Guardians 2. I'm pissed about that. Okay. <laughs> Guardians 2 is essential. Okay, first off, let me defend it real quick. It combines all Marvel movies across all studios. Because anytime he cameos, it can be, and they purposely put it in there for this reason, it is him be doing the job for the watchers to bring back stories. He references himself being a FedEx driver, which, so, here's the problem with uh, it. Did he? he yeah. He did. Yeah, he said, yeah. they, they fly over and he's like, you know, and at that time I was uh, FedEx Federal driver. Express driver. Federal yeah. Express driver. Which is such an old man way of saying yeah, FedEx. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> did he? Yeah. I was a Federal Express man Agent or something like that. <laughs> Tony Stane? Yeah. And so... So the problem with that is uh, that movie, I think it was Civil War, takes place in 2016, and Guardians of the Galaxy, when he's telling that story, is supposed to take place in 2014. Mm-hmm. Um, I think it was James Gunn's explanation is that, oh, it's a different time that he was a FedEx driver. My explanation is time dilation or some shit like that. Like, he's in yeah. space in a different dimension because they're portal thing. everywhere. He probably goes through times all the time. Yeah, like, why, does t- why is our binary, or our very, not binary, but our very... Simplistic time that we're live by here on Earth, and so many smarter people are listening to me right now. Pissed that I'm saying it this way. Why is the construct of time that we live by on Earth affecting him talking to Watchers in space? Yeah. Something so cosmically off from us. Yeah. So I think he's actually talking about that one. Um, it's just I feel like it should be number one, just because it's that. Important. I know it's not overly funny. They're not mm-hmm. cracking any big jokes, but I think it's that important. So I knew they were a big deal from the comic books and stuff. I just didn't know what they were called or. Like what I'd look up to research who they yeah. were in the past. So I was like, okay, they're a big deal, but I don't know about it, so I'm not going to put it in my list. Cause that I just... think it's August August or September 63, Fantastic Four, number 13. Uh, <laughs> First brought in, um, and uh, they warned the Fantastic Four. I read about this earlier, but I'm trying to remember the facts <laughs> before, yeah. oh, without looking down. One, of course. No, before, before <laughs> looking down, because i got to know right somewhere. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, they warned the Fantastic Four that Galactus is coming. So they... And we have one, so there's a watch that's like spread out everywhere because they, they interfered at one point and then they fucked things up when they did. So now they're just supposed to watch, but he's watching Earth. Uh, ooh, that I have to look down. <laughs> ooh, at- ah, ooh, too. So I know I'm messing that up too. But he watches Earth and he's like, ah, I follow up with humans. Okay, I got to interfere a little bit. And so then he interferes. And so very rarely they interfere. They're not supposed to. 
Um, but they're supposed to be just watching, just collecting information from us, everything. And so um, they've been around for a long time. They're just a piece, piece of that big cosmic Jack Kirby world that's out there. So what is their long-term goal? Do they bring that data back to their community? And they... That's the whole point. That's the whole thing is they're just watching. Nobody really knows. They've just been around for a long time, and they've, they've tried to spread their technology and advancement to others and have fucked things up when they did that or messed things up when they did that. <laughs> and, um, and so they're trying to not do that again. And so they, they just watch now. And so they, you know, it's kind of one of those things where it's like big cosmic thing and like might get a little too crazy and they'll just reset stuff and do it again. Yeah. So but anyways, anybody want to make an argument to beat my number one? Uh, yeah, well, I'm still going with my number one, Spider-Man. Um, yours had a lot of meaning for the universe itself. Yeah. But mine has a lot of meaning where I could leave that movie theater and believe I can make change. In my environment. Or it actually my, motivated In my you? community. Yeah. Yeah, why not? It might motivate me to watch more. <laughs> and his, the average audience member would understand the message that Stanley was conveying, yeah. which is comic book movies. Was so, I mean, I like, the, I like the comic book world. I like all these stories, but I didn't know what that was referencing to. Maybe in the future we'll see it and it'll make a lot more sense then. But, fair, I mean, but wrong. And his, his message that he gave to Spider Man, we could argue, encouraged him later down the road do, in that movie you know, where he was near death. I do like their relationship a lot too. Those yeah. two together. I mean, a lot of children see these movies no matter what, and they don't know like what we know. Mm-hmm. And then um, if you're a yeah. type of parent that's parenting, I mean, in a way, the right way or whatever kind of way you want to lead them to be some type of leader, uh, that's a, a, you know, a quote from an extraordinary person to like what he did. I mean, he made comics. That's like a dream come true to like draw and make up characters and now you see him on a big screen to where my little kid could grow up to be someone extraordinary as well a lot of his characters can be role models to kids like yeah. if you lived your life by spider-man i mean he's generally pretty there was like yeah. a time in the 80s when he's going to nightclubs a lot but mm-hmm. you know. <laughs> <laughs> but you could actually you know enjoy spider-man and yeah. all that stuff who would you who would i want my kid to grow up to be a superhero though oh man oh, iron man top five that'd that'd be, the top yeah. five yeah. the top five yeah. thanos <laughs> <laughs> Let me start you off with a glove. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you I'm gonna go down with someday. Real life um, meaning. I don't feel good, Mister Stark. All right, so if you're going, okay, so you're saying it had more impact on you walking away from it than mine yeah, did. More people, yeah. I could concede that it did that. I think mine's more important. So it looks like you got world. you got John's consensus that should be mine. Yeah. What do you got for your number yeah. one that you I, wanted? My to number do? one was the the librarian in that scene, which I thought was funny, but really I think my number two was even funnier if that's what I'm basing it on, which was him driving the truck trying to pull Thor's hammer. Yeah. That's pretty high so, on my list actually. That yeah. was just straight up funny. I think yeah, that, well I mean I think that one obviously is gonna be on the main top five because that was on all our lists. Yeah, Except yeah. For, so, yeah that's I mean, we got, well, that's that actually make list. Well, you know, <laughs> three out of four. Yeah. So, so but yeah, for number one, I mean I think to me Squeaks is is uh, yeah. more I don't know, effective to the audience. Yeah. What do you All think, right. Joe? What do you think, Joe? What do you think? Bummed out. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I'm a little disappointed. I mean, I, I guess know. if I'm trying to like base it off of everything that's I don't being like said this right format, now. Dude. <laughs> yeah. If I'm trying to base it off of everything that's being said right now, I guess obviously to just the the, the average viewer, I gotta go with the Spider Man. All right. <laughs> All right. We need a trophy and just like have a debate. We it. should do. We <laughs> should. I mean, it just makes more sense because. Yours is almost like, Stupid. like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, like theorious, I guess. You know, like yeah, it was a good. I mean, there's it was a good cameo for today. that because, like, like, like you said, it answered all these questions and it put everything kind of more together, which is cool. But like, I think what Squeaks was saying is, you know, not everybody's gonna know that he's a watcher. I didn't know what a, up until you just said it. I thought he was just sitting there, and I was like. Hey, he's he, referring he himself, back to yeah, he himself another is cameo. not a watcher, but he's telling the stories to the yeah, watchers. Yeah. It's like helping them. Like, but like, just the the depthness of that of of how you had to explain that. Yeah, mm. it's just I, I I agree that it's up there. I should I think that easily should be on the top five. Yeah, but I don't think it's number one. Do you think it's number mm-hmm. two? Because I'll, I'll okay, I'll give you Spider Man threes. <laughs> sure. Can't be on because that I is can, true. I that can you walk away with those yeah, words. Yeah, I can. I can see it being number two. I can agree I can with it being too, number two yeah. for an, from its importance. Yeah. If I didn't think about real life, you know, yeah. meanings or whatever, that is a mind blown into the comic book world or movie world. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Once it's an extra step of of figuring out what it is or being told like what that means. But yeah. that's kind of the nice thing is it's like when you watch that and say you didn't know anything, it makes you almost want to look into the other side of Marvel, the True. truly wherever or the. 
the information is coming from mm. to figure out what is this? What what yeah. am I missing here? Those guys are all clearly important. Yeah, it's kind of like. It, I think it's a good way to kind of hook people in, like, hey, check this world out that yeah. always comes from. There's you so think because not all the you gotta remember it's also in Guardians where it's our it's our first step into and it's Guardians too, but still it's our first step into the cosmic world. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like, hey, you like this cosmic world? Holy hell, there's a whole bunch of stuff over here. Check it all out, guys. It's kind of you know, it's like there's a yeah. lot more out there. That's true. So I think it's I think it's the first cameo yeah. that does more than just make a joke. It's, yeah. Or well, I mean, I, I, or it's I, just an appearance. Well, yeah, just an appearance, something anything. like There's that. Just yeah. I do think like our it. new number one, our Spider-Man three. I think there was a deeper meaning to that because I really think that that, that relationship between yeah. Spider-Man and Stan Lee, mm-hmm. that was kind of a moment where it's like, this is my boy. You know what I'm saying? Like it yeah. was kind of uh, like nothing against Stan Lee at his age. I think we've already got a couple jokes. Maybe I have, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but that would be that would be like the words on his tombstone. Like that, that was actually really yeah. nice words. Yeah. But I think mine is a way to kind of bring people into the comic book universe, which mm-hmm. is really important to Marvel, obviously. And I, I think the problem time. with that, though, is is that's like the one cameo where you can say that, where it's just like yeah, it brings everybody in because there's been plenty of cameos where he doesn't even say a word. Like I right. think there was one like X Men where he's X Men, like, he's just standing, there he's like, just standing there like as it's panning to the TV, he's just like yeah. he's yeah. a hot dog. Yeah, he's just on the side, just standing there on the beach. Yeah, yeah. Larry, when he played Larry King in Iron Man Two, I think it was. Yeah, he just stood there. Yeah, it's just, yeah. just they just zoomed in on him. It's like, oh, I mean, he looks like him. That's mm. pretty darn good. I mean, can we say he played Hugh Hefner? I'm just saying. Yeah, we yeah. actually don't yeah. know. Yeah. That we don't know. He wasn't. Could have been Tony Stark mistaking him for Hugh Hefner as well. Well, in the wall, yeah, oh yeah. I mean, he could have been playing himself, and he just happened to be. You could have you know, check out the credits. You might say Stanley, you have to. Mm. Oh, that's Stanley. a good. Let's check that out. Smart. I there like should it. be. Uh, oh, I mean, I, I don't know if it's a conspiracy theory, but uh, Marvel should come out with something where the timelines were. Maybe Stan Lee figures it out in one movie, and yeah. then he's do, ju- doing the jumping dimension thing, and you see him like say at the Hugh Hefner part, like. This was his tenth jump, like he's used to it already. Yeah, mm-hmm. make a happy kind of blow. Oh, I think that's. I think that's the thing. I think that's. There's. I think that's why that was big. Yeah, is because it probably shines some light on those. But now theories. I want to know. No, yeah, now those theories or like you that's know, where mine comes in because you yeah. want to know, yeah. and now you're looking into it. <laughs> Welcome to Marvel. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. All right. So have I cemented mine in at least number two for sure? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right, everybody agrees. Number two, Guardians of the Galaxy two. All right. What do you guys? Who's gonna fight for number three? What was your number Big one? Big Hero 6. Oh, man. Uh, it's I, got a lot of... I didn't watch all that movie, though. I didn't it made me watch Marvel. Marvel. <laughs> you shut <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I'm just a big Disney guy. I see this after the credits. Hey, that looks like, you know... Stan Lee, who's Stan Lee? I'll have yeah. to look into this. You know, yeah, look in. I Googled, quick Google search Stan Lee. Gave me a bunch of other Stan Lees. You know, I had to be a little more specific. You had to get a little deeper. Than that, you know. that line he says, now, I've never seen Big Hero 6, so forgive me if I'm totally well, not man. Take your number two out of the You've never seen Big Hero 6? No, I have, oh, it, I have it at home, too, on Blu-ray. Oh, I just got to watch it. <laughs> yeah. There's a few things i got to watch just sitting on my Blu-ray on my shelves. Um, but he says a line. I remember, I remember watching the YouTube clip on this. He says a line in it where... He's like telling him, it looks like almost like a superhero catchphrase, something like that. Is that? Yeah. Something it's like that. Like part of the universe? Says, yeah. Something he always says and then his son and always. So it's something from Big Hero 6. It yeah. makes sense. Yeah. His underwear yeah, is like a wear inside yeah. out, yeah. front ways, back. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. so in the movie, the kid says like he, he like never changes it or washes his underwear, uh, yeah. basically. <laughs> so so it is a reference to the, okay, yeah. I wasn't sure if that was like something from comic book or from no. Stanley himself. He was a big underwear man or something like that. I wasn't sure. Okay. I kind of like that. I like that it refers back to itself. I mean... Well, it's funny, too, because I remember watching it in theaters, and, and when you see this kid, he's just like, you know, everybody's making cool, you know, suits for for their superhero yeah. or whatever, and then you see this guy, the comical guy, come in, and he's just like, I'm a big dinosaur who shoots! <laughs> and he was very, he was very, like, into the comic book books himself yeah and like as the movie goes on and on like you can tell he's really he's like this kid really wants to be a superhero yeah and then they go they're like i don't remember what happens but he's like oh you know we can go to my house or whatever so they show up to like this mansion just this mansion and they're like this isn't your house like stop playing with because he's kind of like just a a slob he looks like a slob yeah and then they ring the doorbell and then like the butler opens the door and he's like hello fred or whatever and he's like they're like uh, this is your house, <laughs> yeah. and they're going through it. And you see, just like, was it like superhero drawings or something on the wall, and just stuff like that. And then you're basically saying like, this guy's like Stan Lee or something. You know, he's like trying to oh, be related, so you don't know. Yeah. And then it's like after the credits when you stay and you see it, like you see um, 
what is it? Who is it looking? Is it? He's like going into his dad's office or something. Yeah. And he looks up and you see like it's like a picture of Stanley. Well, there's a sh- yeah. in a shadowy figure. Okay. And then his dad walks in yeah. and he's like, you know, it's me or whatever. Right, yeah. That's when it ties it all together. So in that movie, is Stanley a past hero or is he just he's Stanley? Dad. He's just a Stanley. Uh, he's a past hero, though, isn't he? Because I thought because there's a room full of like hero costumes. Holding, yeah, he's he was holding the kids? outfit, his underwear. Yeah, and he's saying that quote, which Stanley was saying the quote also. So I assume yeah. that was his, that was his okay. thing. I think I can't put too much weight into this one just because I yeah lost yeah. but yeah. interested. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I'll be checking it out. I, I would just thought he just came into Stanley because doesn't it say his name under Stanley on that picture? Yeah, unless they say unless they say Stanley is a hero, then yeah. Just him himself. I, I, I liked I liked how much he had to talk in that one because there's so many cameos where he doesn't talk at all. We talked about that, but yeah. I liked how he actually had some dialogue and they did a really good job with the animation in it to where you actually like right away when you see it, you're like, oh, that's Stan Lee. You didn't even need to talk yeah. to him right away. If I, I like that. argue a three, it's not a very strong argument. I would just pick Hulk. Um, 2003 Hulk. Only Ooh, because we got so the aware of I know, like no, no, like no. Like cameo. <laughs> Only because Luther Igna was uh, next to him. And you know, the, the original Hulk. And yeah. the line that he says to it's, me is funny because you have Hulk next to him. And he was waving at the... And he was waving he at waved the at Bruce Hulk. Banner. He's yeah. like, hi, Mr. Banner. Or yeah, Professor yeah, Banner yeah. or some random thing. Yeah. And then he's like, he's like, yeah, this place is crazy. We need to beef up security. Yeah. And then you have Luther Igna, who I love and <laughs> yeah. you know is Hulk. I love the old Hulk show, yeah, watching the reruns and stuff. Um, I think that deserves three more than the other one does. Yeah. And oh no, I agree. I'm, I, I, that was just my number one because yeah, it was my number one. But do you okay? So do you feel like Hulk two thousand? I never thought Hulk two thousand three anything would win anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's the I mean, we're like, not going off the movie. We're going yeah, off. It's the, funny because the, the other Hulk Stanley cameo is solid. The one where he drinks the soda and drops it. Like it's yeah. not terrible. That's the Edward Norton one, huh? That's the yeah, Edward Norton okay. one. Yeah. Oh, I love that so movie. it's like, but uh, the cameo versus cameo. Yeah. I would say the two thousand three yeah. one wins. I yeah. still think Thor when he's driving the truck trying to pull the hammer was funny. Uh, that, yeah, true. But you have no, no, no. I don't think. Well, personally, no. I don't think so because you have Lou Ferrigno supporting. It. It's almost a double cameo. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, it it's not is. almost. It is. Yeah, I gotta cameo. go with the Hulk. I think that was higher on my list, and I think it was way funnier. Yeah. I, I do like yours. Yours was on my list too. The truck. It, yeah, it's on maybe my list. Four, as well. maybe five, but. Yeah. We'll see. I, uh, that has to be on our list. All right, for sure, so it sounds like you guys agree that uh, Hulk with Lou Ferrigno. I think that deserves three. to be number yeah. number three. Now, okay, so are you you're and you're okay with it being over your number one? You're here oh, with Big Hero yeah. Six. All right, so we're putting it down, guys. Yeah, Hulk two thousand three is on some list about good things. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our number four. It sounds like we're kind of debating debating our number Thor, four. Thor, big big hero, maybe. The uh, Thor, the big hero. Yeah, because I have my my Winter Soldier, but I, I'm yeah. I think. My number three is Thor. I like the Age of Ultron one, but I think my Winter Soldier one's going to be a stronger contender to be, compete with this. Mm-hmm. Um, Which one was he on Winter? Uh, what do you do on Winter Soldier? He's a security guy. He's like, man, I'm going to That was Winter fire. Soldier? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Because he so, wants to go get his old costume to kind of jog Bucky's memory. And yeah. he has... He has okay, okay. Yeah. Um, and he's like outside of... The mannequin's like holding shield. it and covering his privates. You know, just yeah. like an American shield. shield. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's like, oh man, I'm so fired for this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a really good one. So and Thor the truck one though was that at the very end? No, that was no, like no, 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 no. It's it the middle. Remember all those guys? Yeah, they're taking everybody to pull out like like uh, the sword and the stone kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. wasn't he, the hammer in the ground? Yeah. yeah, finished off the first movie then, or no? It was the very end of like Iron Man two. Is Coulson? Oh, that's right. Yeah, Coulson's that's telling right. him like we have another situation or whatever. Yeah, or somebody's yeah, telling Coulson right. or something like that. And he's there pulling it with the truck, and then the whole bed rips off the truck. So so here's my argument against that one. That's it. The funny part, like, well, okay, it is funny that he's there, but, like, so much of that clip of that cameo is not Stan Lee's face. Yeah. He only well, says... You don't realize it's him did in the work until the end. Yeah, so that's so, why I kind of... Yeah, so... If you guys made the argument, that's cool, because I don't really have one to beat your two. So if you <laughs> guys argue... One is argument is better than the other, then I'll just pick that one. There so mine's Winter Soldier, okay. because okay. I, I like how... Okay, so this is going to sound stupid, but I think I just might win you two over with this. Have you seen the pop for that one? Oh, it is God. so good Which... for the Stanley where he's a security guard. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. they did release the Stanley ones. Yeah, it's such <laughs> a good one. He's he's been a security guard in a couple different movies though, right? Uh, he was. He was an officer one of the Fantastic in like the, Force? In, in the original one. one right? In the Fantastic Force, he was like a military. He was a officer. delivery, delivery man as well. Uh, okay. Yeah. Because he's like whatever, Mister Richards. Yeah. I don't remember the guy's name. I think it's Richards. But he's dropping off something. Like anybody's paying attention. All right, so anybody else want to try to contend with those two? We got Civil War versus Thor's no, truck. Those. Yeah, I mean, Thor's yeah, truck. They were both funny to me. 
I also like when he was Hugh Hefner and Iron Man. I thought that was funny. That's true. Like that one. Up, so he doesn't true. talk at all in that one. Yeah. I don't know. The way he pats him on the shoulder, you already see him. He looks like Hefner's sweating what he's wearing and then he turns around. And you're like, oh, snap. All right. So I'm going to think. I'm thinking. All right. I'll give it, I'll give that one to you. The That, that one, because it actually breaks higher on mine. It's not my number three. Oh. Dang, I'm thinking I'm gonna go with Joe and put Big Hero Six above those two. Woo! Oh, wow. oh, Big Hero Six, let's do it. Joe has some on that. Gotta go down. Yeah. All right. That's I don't awesome. know. Yeah, I had never really watched Big Hero Six. I remember seeing yeah. that clip, and I didn't see well, it either. Like our own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't yeah. see it either, but I do like from what I did see of the clip how much he talks, and I know that's kind of a arbitrary thing to talk about in cameos because it's cameo. It's just not meant to be them talking much. But I like how as soon as the animation was really good on and stuff like that, and, and he did have some cool lines that I didn't I understand the reference I, for, yeah. but they're still cool. If I'm listening to arguments, then I might go with John's uh, Thor one. Well, then we got we got Joe's in the fight though. Yeah, but he's only saying uh, because it's Disney. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's enough. Say, I mean, really. they own it all. Well, the so. Mickey Mouse slap or that just passes ahead. That's tough. They own it all. I'm just saying. Ugh. Without the mouse, what do you think? There is no list. Do you think Big Hero Six beats either of us? I I don't know any of the rest of the story except for that clip. Yeah, it's but, a good but movie. I mean, it does have a lot of depth in the character. I mean, You're in luck. I actually carry it on the, the movie. Do you think Big Hero Six beats my Avengers? Or uh, I'm sorry, Captain America: Civil War. It's hard. He Winter Soldier. It. I keep saying yeah, it wrong. Winter Soldier. Yeah. yeah, I'd say so. You think it beats mine? Yeah. Okay. So it probably beats mine. And I think it beats yours because it's just a lot more Stanley. It's a good few minutes of him. He actually has a character with the name who affects the stories to some extent. So even though it was in the post credits, and and the way they're describing it, it sounds like it builds up to Stanley showing up the whole time with that kid. Like you could tell there's something up with this kid. Like you're saying, oh, if he didn't show up, would there be kind of like a hole in the story or something like that? No, no, no. no, But it's just how he is. It's very. I don't know how to explain it. You just see him. You just stuff. I was just yeah. watching it, and I was like, once you kind of get a glimpse into more of the kid, I was kind of like, oh, this kid's like the Stan Lee of this San, San oh, Fran Tokyo, oh, yeah. which is the name of the city. Yeah. It's, it's San Francisco, but <laughs> it's a mouthful. it looks like Tokyo. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so when it, when he came in, you were like, ah. So much of that was in your just face one. and not in your laugh. That's going to sound great. I didn't though, want but... to scream. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't, because I have to go in and edit that myself. <laughs> All right, so I'm down. Okay, Big Hero 6 be number four. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah. Okay, so... Uh, which one? I'm guessing 5 will be Thor or uh, Captain America? So we got Thor or Captain America, oh, Winter Soldier. We have yeah. Age of Ultron, yeah. where he gets drunk. I thought was pretty good. That oh, was yeah. pretty funny, yeah. too. I did like that, too. Okay. And then you well, want to put in the Iron Man. You guys want to put in the Iron Man one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which... I am not a fan of compared to the others. I can skip that one compared to the others also. Yeah, it was funny, especially like you were saying, because uh, we didn't really recognize him that much or didn't see an influence much from him being in movies before. Yeah. And then that was just like, oh, snap, that's that's Stan Lee playing Hugh Hefner. That's obviously intentional. It wasn't just like him trying to be a extra in the background. Right. When, when like, in Spider-Man's, he could have just been an anybody extra. But this is clearly a joke. Yeah. Like, hey, look, this is Stan Lee. Yeah. That was the joke. Yeah. Instead of him just being in the background uh, character. Yeah. Um. Okay. So okay. So let's look at what we have here. We have drunk Stanley, trucker Stanley, security guard Stanley, or Hugh Hefner. Now, which one do you guys think got the most laughs when you were in the theaters watching? Oh, that's a good one. Okay. Yeah. Probably the truck one. I think. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe the Hef one too. To be honest, I mean, I can't think that far back, but I'm pretty sure there was older people who. So I wonder. Got a good laugh out of that one. I wonder if okay. So if you're putting the truck one versus. The truck one only came, I think, oh, let me see if I have the year on it. Oh, no, it's 2011, according to mine. No, that seems pretty new, though. Isn't it like third? So, so what I'm wondering is, during the Thor one, when he's pulling the truck, if we were almost looking for the Stan Lee cameo versus the Iron Man one where we were surprised by it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, mm-hmm. That whole drunk scene, though, is a hell of funny, that whole party. See, this, like that's what we're The drunk scene for me isn't even in my argument him, for these three. You don't, think, you don't think you don't think it deserves it? Uh, it's not yeah. You know what? Well, like, I didn't find carry him out. out. And he and, says Excelsior. When I'm talking garbage with, to Thor, it's like oh, out of these four, the other three are easily my three argument for that, for this last spot. You feel him saying Excelsior easily? Easily, because Thor's not over here trying to pour this like no. elixir for the god. It was human so sunken can't ship even whatever touch, random name. It's not even in my argument. If I was to pick out one and make a top three for you this make last spot, that would be more. <laughs> you haven't seen you have <laughs> Big Hero 6. Okay, okay. So let me, okay. If that's not in your argument, I'm going to say the Iron Man one is it because he doesn't say anything. That's yet. fine. Then now we're down to two. 
So what this might be a good way to do this then. Okay. Yeah. So what one would you say does not of those four was not even worth talking about? Which one do we have? The Thor, we have, Mitra, Age of Ultron, the bar. Yeah, the Age of Ultron, yeah, where he's drinking, yeah. yeah. Uh, Winter Soldier, where he's a security guard, and then Iron Man, Hugh Hefner. I think all four of those are good. <laughs> is there any of them that you think is the worst one? Yeah, uh, let's do that. that. It sucks, but I'd probably say Hugh Hefner, since he didn't have any lines. Okay, which one do you think is the worst? Oh, man. Um, I'm torn between Hugh Hefner or the truck one. The truck one, okay. Let's um, spice it up and say I'll, I'll say get rid of the truck one. All right. All right so we have we have a vote for getting rid of the Iron Man one. Okay. Okay. So we have a couple votes for the Iron Man one. So that one's gone. So he's no Hugh after one. Okay. Okay. So now we're and you say no drinking one and you're saying no, no to the one. truck one. What did you think about the truck one? I thought that was my. Yeah, that was, that's that's, that's number three on my overall list. Yeah, that was my number two. I thought that was hilarious. And it's but, funny because I'm I'm almost arguing for Winter Soldier more than that one, and it's my number f- and Winter Soldier is my number four. Well, after you brought up the Age of Ultron one, I wish I had that in my top five because I forgot how that's my number that two. Was. Yeah. yeah, especially because I remember when Thor is pouring the or or bringing out his flask, yeah. talking about how this is an elixir for the gods, not made for man's tongue or something. Yeah, like that. It, he even says like this is not for some mortal soul or whatever. Yeah, and he's like, yeah, that's neither like, was. Oh, uh, Vietnam or something. Like that. No, 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 it was World War Two. It was a battle in World War Two, and I, I'm sorry to, oh, okay. to get this wrong, yeah. but. Uh, but yeah. He was Anyways, mean, and then he's yeah, like a and, better bitter war veteran. Like, oh, it, you young kids don't. know That was all about. funny, but my the, my favorite part, I think, it kind of actually hits on both worlds that we were talking about. With my number one, mm-hmm. with the Guardians of the Galaxy one, is it also then when he's walking out saying Excelsior? Yeah. That's for the comic book fans. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. The Stan yeah. Lee fans know that line, and the rest of us are kind of like, well, what's he mean by Excelsior? Let me look it up. Oh, it's the motto for New York. That's Stan Lee's home and where a lot of his yeah, comics take place. And kind of like to your the number two, right? Is Guardians everybody gonna look it up? No, but it's a two part. But it's a two part cameo then, because the yeah. first part's just Stanley getting drunk, yeah, yeah. And calling which Thor is, out, and just calling Thor out, which His is this old Dragon World Mountain. War II vet calling out some a god, yeah. yeah. You know, so that's kind of a funny thing too. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fight for that. Be be top five. Okay. I think I think five. that one deserves because this is our last spot, guys. So it has to has to yeah, be. Yeah, that's your argument, Joe. Why do you, why I would just, you say I like the others better? It's just as simple as that. They made me laugh more. They I I like them more. It's just, it's just as simple as that. So, I just don't... so Winter Soldier or the truck, or the or the truck one. Yeah, that's basically. You think both those are my bad? Argu- well, not my argument is. Those two are the ones where, if you know, if I'm picking the last spot, those are the last two that I'm fighting over. I guess are trying to see which one. Okay, I so like you're more. saying for sure no to yes. Age of Ultron. To Age of Ultron, what are you saying for sure no to? For sure no to are those, uh, those three still? Have Captain, uh, Captain truck. America Winter Soldier. The truck one. Or, okay. Yeah. And what do you, John? What are you saying for sure? No to? Uh, I would say uh, Winter Soldier. Oh shoot! That leaves three. me. So that leaves you. Yeah. You're just gonna say Hef, so it's just one of me. <laughs> no, Hef is gone already. <laughs> we already got we already got Hugh Hefner out. So see now, I just think there's not enough. Ah shoot, man, the Thor one made me laugh a lot. This is this is a tough one, man. We're gonna have to be the new top eight or seven. <laughs> no, um, twenty five. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna say no to. The Winter Soldier one. And I'll explain oh, why. Okay. So much of the joke depends on the fact that Captain America came in and did something mm-hmm. and stole the suit. And it's not necessarily... And his reaction is like, oh, I'm fired. But I think it relies more on Captain America. And then it's troubling when you think later on, like, Captain America, the ultra good guy. He just got an old man fired who probably doesn't have a pension. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> what the hell, Captain America? I mean, Shield's chasing him down now. It's not like he's going to be able to go back to his museum. Yeah. To get... and museum owners don't know it was Captain America taking back. Yeah, this was poor old man. So, so. Yeah, Ocean because Captain America's a hater of older gentlemen, <laughs> that one's out. I know who took it. Danny Ocean. Danny Ocean. <laughs> I I just watched. I know this is off topic. I've been like I'm trying to get ready for Ocean's Eight, so I'm watching the old Oceans. I've never seen it before. Two is ter- or Ocean's Twelve is terrible. I can't stand that one. Have you guys seen mm. that one? Yeah, I'm pretty uh, sure. I remember it's it. Yeah, awful. I have to watch them again. On the flip side, I'm watching The Godfather, so I'm like a Ooh. couple decades before you. Nice. <laughs> oh, it's good yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Number three, everybody hates number three, but number three is still better than a lot of the garbage we have nowadays. I didn't realize when everyone used to complain about Star Wars movies how the Episodes 1, 2, and 3, people say are terrible compared to 4, 5, and 6. Until older, I watch 4, 5, and 6 again. As you get older, you watch and it's them. like, yeah. oh, there's actual like a storyline to it. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. I didn't know there's, that. There's like a good version of comedy in it and stuff yeah. like that. As long as you kind of, like even, even more so if you watch them too much, you kind of break them down beyond that. But it's, I mean, still best, best lightsaber fight. 
Yeah. Phantom Menace. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and and uh, Revenge Very of the Sith. Uh, two of the best fights. Anyways, Lazy those. Are, said, Come on now. We should put that in there. Best fight scene. Oh no, oh, it is in the tab. Five. Best fight scenes. We can do best well, lightsaber. Fight scenes. Yeah, that's yeah. a whole other thing. Anyway, uh, back to uh, so the sorry. All right, so we have Avengers: Age of Ultron versus Thor now. All right. So let's just do a vote for which one you want. All right, Joe, you're what? voting for Thor. Which one are you voting for? Ultron. Squeak. You're voting for Ultron. What do you? Vo- I'm voting for Ultron as well. What are you voting for? Uh, it's so hard, but since it's so even, I don't want to be a fucking tiebreaker, so we'll go with Age of Ultron. <laughs> Age of Ultron is our number five. Okay, right. now. You guys are rascals. <laughs> <laughs> now, so this is our this is our official top five, but we want we're gonna see if we need to move any of these around. Okay, our number one is Spider Man three because of that line he gives it, and I'll, there's gonna be a clip for all these in our description and our website um, because of the line he gives that's kind of like every every man can make a difference. Mm-hmm. I'll give you that. Guardians of the Galaxy two because it's a game changer and it unites all of the multiverse. Mm-hmm. Okay, number three. Because it's got Lou Ferrigno, and it's yeah. a, and it's just a really funny line. These, it's funny because these last three I think are just about funniness. Um, that was the Hulk uh, 2002. Uh, Hulk 2003. 2003. 2003. Where they're walking out of the building, and yeah. he's like, "Hi, Mr. Banner." Well, anyways, we need a bulk of security around here, and he's not, he's talking to Lou Ferrigno, who played yeah. the original Hulk. Um, number Small. four, Big Hero Six, when he comes back and is in reference to the guy, he's actually his dad. Um, and then number five, Age of Ultron, Drunk Stanley. Yeah. It's funny that that beat out Thor for me. No, no, no. That one is that one's in my own. Oh, yeah, that was right. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's our number. So we go, let's go over one more time. Our number one, Spider Man three. Two is Guardian two. Guardians of the Galaxy two. Number three is Hulk, the two thousand three version. Unreal. That made the list. Number four, <laughs> Big Hero <laughs> six, and number five, Age of Ultron. Yes. Uh, solid list, guys. I'll post them up on our website with the with the videos for each of them. We'll just try this new format and see what everybody everybody likes. Um, please hit us up on Twitter if you guys have any uh, any. Uh, differences with us you guys think a different cameo was better if you're a big fan of the first spider-man one which where he saves a little girl and it makes it's like very smash it's a terrible scene you ever watch that first spider-man and see how bad the cgi is nah, yeah. it's been a while Whew, that is some terrible cgi oh man <laughs> top and require mm. now well go terrible. back and watch that uh 2003 hulk and you'll remember bad cgi again too oh i bet yeah that's a good point <laughs> Well, Lou Ferrigno saves it, but <laughs> yeah. um, and then if you guys can rate us, five stars would be great. Four stars is okay if you want to like tell us why, <laughs> that'd be great. Um, and then write a little something and stuff like that, and we'll start doing some shout outs on there. Where, and, and uh, where can they find us on Twitter? On Twitter, we are the Top Five Cast at Top Five Cast at Top Five Cast. It'll be at the end. At the end of this, there's like a nice little with the music, and I talk, and I had read a paper when I did it. It's you're telling me this stuff, man. It's on the fly. I'm busy. <laughs> I got <laughs> But I, we are way more active on Twitter than we have been in the past. And like I said earlier, we'll be uh, posting a lot more trailers and a lot more E3 stuff. We're trying to push E3 stuff out there. A lot of E3 stuff coming out. Uh, so like and subscribe. And uh, Okay, and I was right. All right, and uh, thanks for listening, guys, and talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for listening to the Top 5. We would love to hear on how we could improve the show and any suggestions on future topics. You can find us on our website at thetop5podcast.com Email us at thetop5podcast at gmail.com. We are also on Twitter at thetop5cast. And we are on Facebook as Top 5 Space Frank. Lastly, we are on Patreon under the Top 5 Podcast. Thank you again for joining us.